guys i hope you all are doing amazing welcome to another video um, in today's video i'm going to talk about a very important topic uh, i'm going to go in detail of how to make a list of universities for pursuing ms in us so stay in tune and let's get into the topic the first thing that you want to uh, figure out is the field that you want to study in okay before you go into any details figure out what is the uh, field that you want to pursue your masters in okay now it can be computer science for you it can be mechanical engineer for you it can it can be any other field uh, say electrical engineering for you but figure out your field if you are very specific about the specialization that you want to do figure out the specialization okay i am seeing a lot of people who are coming to pursue computer science are getting into data science they are getting into uh, machine learning they are getting into ai they are getting into uh, uh, image processing and a lot of different fields okay so if you are very specific about your field figure out the field so second thing that you want to do uh, once you have your field of interest or field of study ready is uh, to know your budget okay uh, you should assess your finances and check out how much money you want to invest in ms and come up with a budget that you have like say if you have suppose 40 lakhs that you can invest in ms suppose you have 20 lakhs that you can uh, invest in ms okay whatever your budget is come up with that budget because the next step which is about making the list of universities that is what uh, this budget is going to help you okay so come up with your, with your budget that you have ready to invest in your ms that is the second step now that you have your uh, budget ready and your field of study ready the third step and a very important step that you want to do and you want to take your time while doing this step is making a list of universities okay uh, go to yorket.com search on internet uh, search on google and different websites to find out the list of universities a list of uh, this and this can be a tentative list because we will go through refining this list over a period of time in next steps but uh, make a rough list of uh, universities of around 15 universities that you want to apply for okay now i'm not saying that you should apply for 15 universities because that will be a lot ideally you should apply for 6 to 8 universities on an average but uh, make a list of 15 universities so that you have a lot of universities in your list uh, where and you can choose the best one which suits your field of study and your budget okay all right so now that you have your university list which is a tentative as i told you uh, ready let's get into how to shortlist these universities so the fourth step uh, that you, in the fourth step what you want to do is you want to figure out what is the tuition fees and what is the cost of uh, pursuing masters in each of these universities okay uh, now the cost of university uh, cost of pursuing masters or uh primarily depends on a few factors like what is the tuition fees uh and then how how are the experience, expenses around that area okay how's and some other stuff how is the living uh, how much people spend on food so you can search about all these things to figure out what is what will be the general cost of masters in each of these universities okay major point in this is a tuition fees okay so you want to figure out the tuition fees for each of these universities that you have made list of along with the living expenses and the food and stuff like that okay so uh, in everything which is apart from tuition fees so figure that out in this step which is the fourth step in the fifth step uh, what what you want to do is you want to see if there is any scholarship or any financial help or any financial aid which is available in each of these universities okay and if there is one then how to get it okay because what this will do is it will uh, it will provide you with some finances to support your education uh, eventually needing very less amount from the budget that you have created uh, and that will uh, increase your roi okay so you want to uh you want to see what is the financial aid it can be in terms of scholarship it can be in terms of getting on campus jobs having a lot of on campus jobs it can be in terms of getting ras tas and stuff like that okay so figure out what is the financial aid or what is the financial support which is available in each of these universities step what you want to do is you want to figure out do you have the industry around okay now what that means 
what that actually means is uh, for the field that you want to study in uh, you have interest in do you have the industry around the university okay so do you have enough jobs around the university now this is very important because you want to look a uh, little long term you want to plan for the long term so that when you are out of uh, when you are done with at least your one year you can get a good internship and convert it to full time i have made good videos on that you can go and check it out on my channel apart from that if when you are done with your masters you can uh, you can basically get a good job around the university because a lot of a lot of companies are hesitant uh, for relocation since they have to pay for the relocation so you in the sixth step what you want to do is you want to find out where is the nearest uh, industry in your field around the university okay so for the list that we have made in like the second step you want to identify what are the industry like the what is the nearest industry uh, to each of the universities so that you can sort them out seventh step is kind of a reality check so what you want to do is once you have made all this list you have studied the tuition fees the living expenses you know if there is any financial aid available you know if there is like what are the nearest job locations what you want to find out is reach out the people who have graduated from that university okay now this is a very important step what you can do is you can contact these people on linkedin you can contact them on facebook but it's very important that you reach out to these people to know the reality okay to know to get to know what uh, is it really good that the uh, is the university really good you know uh, how was their experience what are the courses they took and uh, is the re- uh, are the courses which they say uh, are good actually good you know and what are the values that they took away from that uh, from those courses guys so once you are done all of these seven steps you will have a very good data to decide which universities do you want to go to uh, based on your budget and your field of interest okay now if you skip one of these steps you will uh, i mean i would not recommend to skip uh, any of these steps because uh, these steps add a lot of value to your decision uh, and it's uh, backed by good data you know so you want to go through all of these steps now let me know what th- kind of videos you want to see in future and i will be making videos on that okay i have already made two videos on how to shortlist universities and i'm putting the link to them in the description section below uh, along with that i'm putting uh link to a very good pdf by gre edge you might have heard about them um and they have a kind of a ebook on how to uh, how to make the short, uh, university list and that is also in the description section below go check out yocket.com for which who uh, peop- like what were the scores of people who got into university that you want to get into to get into more detail of uh, shortlisting the universities i hope you like this video guys and i will see you with a new video soon uh by the way before i go if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel our goal is 25000 to reach there as soon as possible and i am sure that we are getting there see you soon